Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I am reviewing Star Wars Bounty Hunters issue 10, The Terminus Gauntlet Part 3, A Desert Gamble, which was written by Ethan Sachs with art by Palo uh, Villanueva, and it came out on March 17th, 2021. So yeah, um, I thought it was an okay issue. Had some cool action shots, I mean, it was like Valance sneaking up on some of the uh, Anaka gang pirates. Um, also, there's a flashback at the start of the issue, what I uh, enjoyed. But other than that, the issue just felt like it was built up for, you know, like, the War of the Bounty Hunters crossover and whatever else there is in the future of the Bounty Hunters series. But I I still thought it was a, a good issue. I enjoyed it. But, um, anyways, we'll get in the breakdown, which, like I said, it starts with another uh, flashback this time. It's, you know, after Vlance had crashed his TIE fighter and he had to get his leg amputated. And it's, you know, like in hearing the officer tell him that they're not going to give him one and whatnot. You know, Vlance, you know, says he'll pay for it himself. And, you know, wants to get back into the cockpit of a TIE fighter. And the officer tells him that you know, that's not going to happen. Um, but, you know, Han overhears it and then, you know, asks him why he wants to stay with the umpire. Which, you know, Vlance tells him why and whatnot. And... And then, you know, thanks him for, uh, saving him. Uh, but then we see the present, uh, the rebel ship. We see, uh, Dengar telling, uh, Scrag, the, uh, Naka Gang's new leader, um, you know, what they're after. And that's not an item, but a person. Uh, but then we see Valance climb up the side of the, uh, the ship. And he enters in some hatch where then he, you know, takes out an Naka Gang pirate. Which then we see... He cuts to the uh, planet of uh, Rusan, where uh, Tonga and uh, um, Vasha are talking, and Tonga tells Vasha that she can't come home just yet, and there's something she has to do. She asks Vasha to come with her, which she agrees, but then the old man who uh, saved Tonga comes out and, and uh, tells her about something about going after um, kind of Lash's killers and whatnot, and to take the uh, Nexu with them. And then uh, we see back on the uh, rebel ships where some of the pirates have taken uh, some of the rebels uh, prisoner. And the pirates standing guard uh, hear something. And so they go to investigate. And, and you know, it was Valance who uh, sneaks up on them and takes them out. I quite like the, uh, the shot of him like, in the shadows, you know, grabbing them and whatnot. But uh, when the pirate sneaks up on him, which the uh, one rebel, uh, Sproul, I think was her name, uh, sneaks up on the pirate and hits him across the head with the pipe, which uh, Valanson asks Sproul if they know what the pirates are after, which she, sa she says they have no clue, but uh, that they found a scorching around the hyperdrive, so someone sabotaged the ship, which I guess gives uh, Valance an idea. Then we see Dengar and Scrag. Uh, get to the bridge of the ship where they meet the uh, rogue rebel commander, uh, Perpira, <clears throat> which I guess is the uh, person Dengar uh, said they were looking for because he has some transponder codes for the uh, rebel ships, which uh, Perpira reveals that, you know, he has all the info in his head, so, you know, they uh, can't kill him. But uh, before, you know, and again, before the... Uh, the power to the ship uh, cuts out. Uh, obviously, the idea Valance came up with was to cut the power, but um, then it cuts uh, somewhere in space. We see the uh, X-wing Valance sent out. Um, you know, has um his old guild frequency. Uh, um, I don't know what the term is uh, whatnot. But uh, Forlom and Suckus come across the uh. X-Wing and figure out that it was Valance and whatnot and have the uh, coordinates will lead right to the Rebel ship so they start to head out there but then uh, we see back on the Rebel ship where Valance is you know, taking out some of the pirates and whatnot and then we see uh, Scrag, Dengar and Papira and some of the other pirates fix the uh, power to the ship but Valance shows up, takes out some of the pirates uh, which in turn, then Dengar turns on uh, Scrag and tries to take her out, but she breaks free and runs off. 
Uh, and then we see Sproul uh, sneak up on Papira and knock him out. But uh, then we see Valance chase down Dengar, which Valance takes him out. And Dengar, you know, goes on about how he's been so unlucky recently and how he last lost out on the on the uh, bounty for capturing Han Solo and that Bo Fett already most likely has him in Carbonite, taking him to Jabba, which, you know, Valance is surprised by all that. <clears throat> but then we see the uh, rebel uh, Chondra make contact with the uh, rebel ship, um, thinking Valance will answer, but it's Sproul instead. Which she tells him that uh, Valance left and that he's after someone. And then we see Valance in the ship with Tengar captured, heading probably the fine Boba, but um, yeah, and that's where the issue ends. So yeah, I, I thought it was like, you yeah, know, a good issue. Um, the, the build up I, I do like, but uh, you know, but you know, it just made the arc feel kind of the ending fall flat a little for me. Yeah, like, like I said, I, I did enjoy the action and that flashback at start, I did quite like, but um, yeah, um, you know, just like I said, I'm setting up it. Senior just feels like he's been just setting so much stuff up and, you know, hope we can get some solid conclusions to some stuff soon. But, um, yeah. Anyways, my grade for this issue is going to be a, uh, a B minus. So, yeah. Um, anyways, the next issue, I believe, comes out in a few weeks. Um, it's sometime in April. I didn't look at the date, what date it was exactly, but I'll be doing a review of that when that comes out, but, uh, yeah, um, anyways, uh, you can check out all my other comp reviews and whatnot, but for now, I've been Star Wars, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next one.